Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go count. Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go add. When all that counting is done, we'll be adding sums. Hey math stars, how are you today? Hmm, are you ready for some really hard math? Really hard math? Oh, maybe it won't be too hard. But remember, say I can do hard things. Yes. All right. We will always do our best. So let's get started. Ready? If you need to go get your book, you can pause the video, go get your book and a pencil. And we are in module six, lesson seven. This is our last lesson of this module. Ready to see what we can do today? I can solve an addition or subtraction problem and model the problem with an equation. So we are doing addition or subtraction. So how can you tell the difference between the two? So with addition, remember we have a group and we're adding to it. And with subtraction, we have a group and we're taking away or taking it and making it two different groups, okay? So let's go. All right, page 175. Let's see, how are we going to write 175? One, seven, five. That's 175. That's what page you're looking for, okay? And listen to the word problem, okay? Draw to represent and solve the problem and then write the equation. So you're gonna draw to represent and solve the equation, and then you're gonna write the equation to model the problem. All right, Sarah, this is for number one, right here, the orange one right here. Sarah has three large books and one small book. How many books does Sarah have? Well, first of all, tell me, you think it's addition or subtraction? Wonder, let's, let's make some books, okay? three large books and one small book. So I'm gonna make three large books. I'm gonna use rectangles. Two, three large books and one small book. One small book. Hmm, what is our, is it gonna be addition or subtraction? It's gonna be addition or subtraction. I have this group of large books and this, group of small books and I want to know how many books all together. So am I putting those books together? Am I taking a group and adding more? Yes. So I am doing addition. So let's count how many large books. This is the first group. One, two, three. And how many small books did I add to that? One equals how many books does she have now? Three plus one is four. Yes, good. Okay, number two, there are five flowers in a vase. There are five flowers in a vase. Three of the flowers are red and the rest are yellow. How many flowers are yellow? So we know our starting number, right? Our starting number is five. So I'm going to do five. Oops. That's just a line. I'm going to do five circles to represent my five flowers. One, two, three, four, five, five flowers. Okay. Five flowers in a vase. Three of the flowers are red and the rest are yellow. First of all, are we adding or subtracting? Hmm, how do we know? Well, we have a whole group, right? And we're dividing the group into two parts. So we're taking apart the group. We're saying three of them are red and the rest are yellow. So is that adding or taking away? Yes, I think you're right. It is take away. So let's look here, five flowers in the vase. Three of them are red. One, two, three are red. The rest are yellow. 
let's count to see how many would be yellow. How many do we start with, first of all? One, two, three, four, five. We're taking away, how many red are there? Three. So how many are yellow? How many spots are left? Well, we can make them yellow and see. Let's look. One, two, two spots. So let's see. Five, take away three is one, two, two yellow flowers. All right, you can pause your, pause your video to do this, all right? Here we go, three, four, and five. Listen to the word problem, write the equation to model the problem, that's going to be here, the equation. And solve the problem. Oh. Are you ready? Lorna has four sports balls. One of the balls is a football. The rest are basketballs. How many basketballs does Lorna have? Let's say that again. Lorna has four balls. One of the balls is a football. The rest are basketballs. How many basketballs does she have? So let's do this. Here we go. She has four balls total, right? So let's do it. Four balls. One, two, three, four. Okay, we know one of them is a football. One is a football. The rest, are basketballs. Okay, what would the equation be? How many did I start with? How many do I know she has? She has four balls. And of those balls, I have a group of balls and I'm taking one of them, one of them is a football. So am I adding or am I taking away? Okay, and the rest are basketballs. So I have one, two, three, four. And am I adding or am I taking away? Hmm. One of them is a football. How many of them are basketballs? All right. That's the first one. I'm not going to write the equation. I want you to do this. You can pause this while you do it. Okay. All right. Number four. Franco has two star stickers and two smiley face stickers. He has two star stickers. Okay, star stickers. I'm going to do that. Two star stickers. Star. And two smiley face stickers. two smiley face stickers. Okay, so how many stickers does he have all together? It's easy to do a smiley face. Okay, and you're never fully dressed without a smile, so. Okay, how many star stickers? How many smiley stickers? Are we adding together or are we taking apart? He has three, oh, I'm sorry, two star stickers and two smiley face. How many stickers, how many total stickers does he have? All right. Okay. Pause this while you write that equation, figure that out. Okay. Number five, Chen has three stamps. He has three stamps. Three stamps. Two stamps show trees. Two of them have trees. The rest show flags. How many stamps show flags? Okay, so Chen has three stamps. 
am I taking that apart or am I adding to it? Because I have three and I'm saying, I have three of them and I'm saying two of them show trees. How two of them show trees, right? How many show flags? The rest show flags, okay? So is it addition or subtraction? Hmm. I have a group. I'm taking two. Okay, pause this while you do that, okay? While you do that equation. All right. Okay, now for this part, you get to get creative. So put on your thinking, your creative hat. Tell your own subtraction word problem within five. Remember, subtraction is take apart, take apart. Draw to solve the equation and write the equation to model the problem. Now, remember, your picture has to match your equation and your picture has to match your story. So I'm going to give you an example. Please don't use mine. I want you to think of your very own, okay? Subtraction problem. Here we go. Jenny has four ice cream cones. It's a lot of ice cream. But she knows one of them is bubblegum flavored. Have you ever had bubblegum flavored? Bubblegum flavored. The rest are chocolate. How many chocolate ice cream cones does she have? That's how I might do it. And then I would write my equation, okay, has to model that. That's a subtraction. So I had four, Jenny, or I had four to start with. And one of them, I'm subtracting because I'm taking that one away that I know is bubblegum. The rest are chocolate. How many are chocolate? Two, three. Three are chocolate. That's just my my problem. I want you to come up with one on your own. Okay. You can pause this while you do that. All right. Now, number seven, again, you have to come up with your own, tell your own addition word problem within five. Draw to solve the problem. Write the equation to model the story. Okay. So I'm not going to give you a hint on this one. You guys, you do this one, see how you can do it. Okay. Come up with a really good story. All right. Okay, now it's time for on your own. Look at one, two, three, four, five on your own questions. Okay, so I want you to go to your homeschool teacher and I want you to ask them to read the directions to you for each problem, okay? Remember, this is your time to show what you know. So do it all by yourself. Don't get help, okay? And don't forget, you are a master and you can do it. All right, have a great day. I'll see you later.